Hello, in this video we are going to do a very simple math problem and you're going to be surprised that many of you are actually going to get this wrong. So here is a problem, 6 divided by 3 and 1 plus 1 in the parentheses. So no cubes, no force power, alert here, right here we have only one parenthesis division and like not a huge number, we have 6, 3, 1 plus 1. It looks like a kid's problem so everyone can solve this correctly. But a lot of students do this common mistake. So right now let's go ahead and look at the correct answer. Yeah, so right here we have three options. So option A, option B and option C. And right now I suggest you to pause the video and write your suggestion, write your answer in a comment. It will be really interesting to check our answer in the end of the video. Yeah, so obviously whatever the order you select is going to create a different answer. So if you start with parentheses, if you start with division, multiplication, so if you choose this order, you will have like a different answer. So, and this is a trick right here. And in this video, we're going to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. But before solving this, I want to show you these interesting, interesting notes right here. So we have two main popular order of operations. So we have BODMAS and PMDMC. Maybe PMDMC is more popular nowadays because BODMAS is the old one, but let's look at these two different orders. So as you can see right here, first of all, we have really interesting first step. We have brackets and we have parentheses in both in both methods, in both order of operations. So it not will be mistake for us when we start with brackets. So using two order of operation, we need to start with parentheses. So let's start with this. I want to put it down right here and let's start with this parentheses. Right here we have one plus one, which is equal to two. So we will have like six dividing by three and we multiply it by two. So according to these both methods, it will be a correct first step because we need to start with with brackets, yeah? Then right here we have orders, we have exponent, yeah? Right here we don't have exponent and we need to go to the next step. So right here in BODMAS we have division multiplication and right here multiplication and division. But nowadays more popular this PMDMC order because BODMAS is the old one so we need to start with, with this one. But one really interesting moment, we have multiplication first right here. So we need to, it looks like we need to start with multiplication, but then we have division. But one really interesting note right here, in PMDMC we work with groups. So parentheses, exponent and then multiplication, division is one group, yeah? And addition and subtraction is the second really important group. But one really interesting moment is a group. So we need to look as a group right here. Do we have division multiplication it's as, as one group, yeah? So yeah, we have division and multiplication. So according to this, the fifth method, we need to go from left to right. So if we go from left to right using PMDMC order, so we will have like six divided by three. I write it once more, six divided by three and times two. Yeah. So this is our first step because it's the sign is the first we see right here from left to right. Doesn't matter. It will be like a dish, oh, sorry, multiplication division. So doesn't matter multiplication division. If we have this, this sign at first, we need to work with this. So we have like division six divided by three equal to equal to two. <clears throat> and then two times two equal to equal to four. And this is a correct answer to this problem using PMDMC order option B. But a lot of students do this in their own way. So they start with this multiplication. But this is incorrect. Nowadays, four is a correct answer. And of course, if you if you put this uh, plugin into into your like basic calculator or on your laptop, so it's going to do the problem as you type it in. So it will, you will have like this, you will have the option, option uh, one or four, doesn't matter. But if you use a little more sophisticated, like scientific calculator, or graphing calculator, you will have like the answer is equal to, equal to four, yeah? So the correct answer is four, one is incorrect. So I write right here, according to these orders, we will have like our answer equal to, this expression equal to four, option, option B. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, okay? Now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, if you're struggling with basic math or like pre-algebra, you can easily subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematical adventure. Thank you for your time and have a great day.